Welcome to Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, a black and gold mosh pit where the Hawkeyes are ready to swarm. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see the number 22 team in the country, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on the winners of eight straight, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Right down the middle. The quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Tough, hard fought game the last time these two met with Iowa taking a close one. Yeah, and Iowa making the plays when they needed to make the plays. And listen, I just like watching these two squad, Palmer, because they're very... He's taking the shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Some of the oldest rivalries in the sport come from the mid. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll try the run. They open the lane and he hit it a gain of five out to the 33. When you reach this point in the season, these types of games. The Hawkeyes will snap it on first and ten. From the gun, running back gets the give. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him ten yards and the first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Nifty little dance step. One of the things that makes college football unique, the cool trophy. 72-pound brass bowl here, guys. 72-pound brass bowl. I'm not sure how they thought of that, but it's kind of cool looking. Bulls are kind of tough. I guess everybody, when you have a good rivalry, Paul, I guess you need a good trophy to go with it. Yeah, and I think one of the cool things about the Big Ten is you got all these trophy games, and now we're adding new ones to the mix. I'm all for it, man. Big Randy breaks into the open. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal. So nice creating explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting the red inside the five. Go punch this in and get a touchdown. And the Hawkeyes will try to punch it in on first and goal. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. And they will... Iowa has the ball back on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. He rifles one deep to the left. And the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. And the First down here for the offense. Let's go. 
It's the end of the first quarter and now time for one of the great traditions in college football when the entire crowd here in Iowa City will turn and give a wave to the children at the University of Iowa, Stead Family Children's Hospital. Everyone engage and we wave and salute those kids and wish them all the best. Always a treat to be here at Iowa and take part in a special moment. Hope these kids enjoy the rest of the game as we play on into the second quarter. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They're getting this guy lathered up. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job. They're going to throw it over the top of the knee, and he's got it inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Hawkeye! He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch it. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Really good balance on that last drive. They mix it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels, because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense will come back. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Iowa! They've got the lead and trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in Week 10. Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are... Hey. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This is a top 25 offense in college football. And I... Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Nice play. Ready. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. Quarterback checking off. 
Looking downfield, it's McNamara. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play. And while the game is all but decided, why not try to get another one if you can? That's part of the fun, right? Turning to the running game on first and goal. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go into the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.